Hello everybody, you can call me Hutch. Welcome to the Crypto University. Everything here is not financial advice. I just talk about interesting things I like. Doesn't mean I endorse them, it doesn't mean I like them. It just means I find it interesting. Now, if you've been following along, you know I think Bitcoin DeFi should be a core tenant of a theoretical portfolio in this said class. Now, that doesn't mean uh, I don't like to dabble in other areas. I've said many times I uh, dislike the, the crypto gaming uh, theoretical portfolio that all those crypto YouTubers are colluding on to, uh, to pump their bags. That doesn't mean I don't like to dabble, especially in the Bitcoin ecosphere. So, let's talk about something I find interesting, okay? Let's stop this music because everybody knows I'm a one-man show here. So let's just start this off by saying that if Minecraft and Sandbox got together and they connected, they fought, they did some things and they had a baby, that baby would be bitmap. That's what I'm sticking to. I firmly believe it. Now, I tweeted this today. I like one more and more. This could be bold, but it could be beautiful. BMP. I think I might add this to the, the, to the list of the core theoretical holdings that I would construct because Bitcoin DeFi, I think, is going to be a huge part of the new financial system going forward. We'll see. Now, if you go look at the, uh, the Unisat orders, right? Okay, we'll zoom in here. Uh, you know, we don't have much data here, right? It looks like the chart is having a nice little breakout. Um, you know, it's got a billion tokens. So I think the market cap is around 30 million. So, you know, if you're just coming in, you know, you missed probably a lot of upside. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Now this was airdrop to bitmap holders specifically. Now, do you need a bitmap token? I've said for a long time, I don't know if anything needs a token, right? You have Bitcoin, right? But it seems like some projects want to use it specifically uh, bit earth, right? Which I think is like overlaying bitmaps, sorry, over the, over real cities. You know, I don't know too much about it, but it seems like a lot of projects, even Fortnite did this, some guy in Fortnite, there's also a game called Evolve that I've talked about, ticker symbol EVLV. They're integrating your bitmap into some type of game or program or system, which I find fantastic. I think that's a billion dollar idea. Now, is it going to take off? Is it going to get off the ground? I don't know. That's yet to be to be seen. But here's an interesting trend. The bitmaps, these these NFT collections, the market cap is at, is currently at 182 million. Board Op Yacht Club Board Ape Yacht Club, which I think is the biggest NFT collection, right? Oh, on Ethereum certainly, but uh in the world, right? Is that 617 billion? I think we're gonna catch that. I, I really think we're gonna catch that. Now, what's interesting to me about this token is it sand, right? Which is this game, which has NFTs in it or whatever, right? You have your characters, your swords, your boats, whatever, you can own it all. Um, this is worth 1.2 billion, but the top of sand, up here it was at like eight dollars and now it's at what is it 59 cents so assuming that the token the tokenomics stayed the same that's eight times that what is it eight to ten billion and it, i think bitmaps is bigger than this right so i'm not saying bmp can do that i certainly don't want to advise you on anything financially but it seems like there, if this does take off and that we're super early to this, okay? Now, I feel bad. I should have been calling this when this was like nothing, right? I don't, you know, well, let's go look at the chart. What was the lowest it's ever been in the last 30 days, right? Eh, yeah, okay. So it's gone up like seven or 10. Okay, whatever. So you missed the whole beginning of it. That doesn't mean it can't go down all the way to zero or all the way up to 10 billion. Who knows? Interesting. Now, what is it? Is it a security? Is it a, is it a, a, a currency? Is it 
a commodity. It can be everything, right? And this is why Congress has to get together and write these laws. This is why this is not financial advice as well, because the we're not sure. Congress has not written, written the law if this is a security or not. Uh, they've had court cases with XRP that they've partially lost with uh, the Bitcoin ETF now that they've lost. So they're all up in in this place. And, and as soon as they write clear laws, I'll, I'll make a video about that and tell you guys that. Um, so I think there's potentially a lot of upside. You know, can I tell you too much more about it? No. Okay, I'm not a developer. I don't know that much. But I think this is an interesting trend. And you should be paying attention. And the more I think about it and the more I like it, right? I don't just like say the first thing that comes to my mind, like a lot of you frontal cortex lacking individuals, okay? That you're like Phineas Gage. A pole went through your head, you survived, and you're not the same person. You you can't control your emotions. I understand that. I know who I'm talking to. I was going to make a video today and uh, I, I started this mid-journey thing. And uh, I said, Welsh walking in Bitmap City. And I just wanted to show you some of these images. I thought they were interesting. <laughs> I think they're funny. I like this one. This one is going to go on uh, the cover of this video. Okay. Along with a Bitmap or whatever. Okay. It's cool. I like it. <sighs> Excuse me. Everybody, you can call me Hooch. I love you. That financial advice, purely crypto education. <laughs>